there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave video. It's uh, Friday the 29th of December and we're doing an Aussie shave. The soap of choice comes from Squadron, Squadron Scramble. Unfortunately, Squadron has closed up shop um, just recently. So this is now unobtainium soap. And to me, it's a lovely spicy scent, almost like a apple pie, you know, a cinnamon apple pie. That's what I get off this. So, very nice. The brush we're going with uh, today is an Aussie custom brush made by Fugo Australia. He doesn't have a, a coin, but Definitely Fuko Australia. I call it the Aqua. And it's got these two colours. And in there I've got a maggots uh, 26 millimeter uh, tuxedo. Set to 53, 54 millimeters thereabouts. So we'll just get my little mug that gets wet. It doesn't need a soak, of course, being a synthetic. Um, what else we're going with? Uh, the razor. The razor we're using today is the Mocha Classic Head. And on there I've got a aluminium handle, just a generic aluminium handle. So the weight's about 55, 56 grams I believe from memory. And I've put a blade in there already, and the blade I'm using is the... What am I using? Uh, can't find it. Oh, there it is. I got a full drawer full of stuff. I'm going with the, the Prime... Dorco Prime Platinum HQ blades. I find they're quite smooth to me. And that's it, brush. We'll do the pre-shave now. You might notice I haven't got the overhead light on today. It's a nice sunny afternoon. A sunny day for summer. So far our summer hasn't been that hot. We were very wet early in the week. Or early last week. Oh, early this week, sorry. It's Friday, I've <laughs> forgotten what day it was. And we have a nice Christmas. Uh, I had a party. One, two, three, I've had four Christmas style parties, so I've had enough parties for a while. Let's put some uh, Natio Smooth Shave Gel on as my pre-shave. It's uh, mid-afternoon here. That's why there's, I don't need the overhead light. The sun comes into the, the window over this side. Whereas if I do it in the morning, I don't get any sun. And late afternoon, uh, the sun gets blocked by the house next door, which is Double story, double story building, so it overlooks my house and blocks the afternoon sun. All right, we'll go over and do the um, leather build now. All right, then, I've already got the soap squash in there. That was about a, a quarter of a teaspoon, just a rounded one. Squash in there, and I just wet my fingers and massaged a little bit. Get things started. I just get my brush, squeeze, shake, and we'll get started.
bring it right now. So look. Beautiful. As we expect from the squadron of soaps, it doesn't have a very uh, lengthy ingredient list. I'll put that up here now. I don't actually have a scent profile for it. Um, if I can find it, I'll put it in there as well. All right, we'll put this on. Oh, hang on, just re wet the face. Now we put it on. Very nice. Very nice, lovely coverage. Let's start with that. Just put a little bit of alum on my fingers. We'll get started. Let's see how this shave goes. Very smooth. Nice blade, um, these Dorco Primes for me. I used a, a Chinese blade on Monday and it wasn't very good. Quite tuggy. I don't know what it is with the Chinese blades, I don't know why they don't make them sharp. I've only found a couple that are any good. Beautiful, lovely first pass. Nice scent. I'll give it a six out of 10 on that scent strength. I still get that, like a cinnamon or nutmeg scent. Apple pie type scent. Or Christmas pudding maybe. <laughs> oh, it's very nice. Very happy with that. Actually, there's some um, good news on the father-in-law front. He's out of he's out of the ICU, off the ventilator. And gone into the normal part of the hospital. He's still on oxygen, but um, at least he's not in the ICU on a ventilator. And now he's on the ro long road to recovery, but there's still a 50 50 chance he might not make it, but. Uh, we're hoping. And tomorrow my wife is uh, going back to Thailand to um, visit him for a month. She's taking time off work. 
with our pay. If she ran out of holidays, we had a holiday not long longer. So um, she'll go over and um, uh, stay away for a couple of days, make sure she hasn't picked up COVID before she goes visiting. So tomorrow we've got to negotiate the busy airports. Very nice second pass. Third coating. This is a lovely soap. Just a simple base or oh, ingredients. And it just starts, it just works. Oh, right. Against the grain now. South to north. Nice blade. Let me smooth. Well, it's not the sharpest blade, but a nice quality medium blade. I tend to do well on these medium. Sharpness blades. There is a little bit of blade overhang on this Mocha Classic. Mocha? Mocha. The 
There is some documentation indicating that this head design comes from about 1918 and that they were building the or making the heads back in the 1930s at least. I'm just doing some touch-ups now, uh, just the normal spots. Just put a touch more alum. Don't want to slip on the last pass. Or the touch-up pass. Just another jawline. And the chin. Very nice. One. Oh, that's wonderful. Lovely residual even on that, so. Very happy. Okay. Well, rinse off. I won't do an alum test. So I don't feel anything. It's a nice mild shave. I'll just give it a quick rinse. Some soap out of the ears. Okay, pick up some leftover leather here. Plenty left over. Nice and shiny. Look at that. Have another two passes at least. I've had no reaction from the spicy soap. Okay then, we're back from that shower. Oh, what a wonderful shave. No irritations, no weepers that I can see. Beautiful shave. Lovely, smooth and mild. That's how I like it. Okay, let's get straight into the poche. Imperial bergamot with some menthol crystals. <clears throat> nice. Ooh. And some natio calming. After shave balm. This has a 
lemony. Sink to it. Shave lotion. Mm, wonderful scent. Like these classic ones. Okay, that's my shave for today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you on New Year's Eve. Cheers.